Hello and welcome to my presentation, Cloudification in PLM Context. My name is Mirko Theis, I'm from ProStep, and I'm the manager of our integration platform, OpenPDM. But what would we like to talk today? I'd like to start with a short overview to ProStep, and then I want to go deep dive with you in cloud concepts and cloud service models. I'd like to talk to you about challenges with PLM cloudification, and I'd like to give you an example how PLM information can be managed in a hybrid cloud infrastructure. And last but not least, I'd like to close with some takeaways. So let's start with ProStep. ProStep was founded in 1993 by the major German automotive OEMs and the major German automotive suppliers. And the first project ProStep was running was the introduction of the STEP standard to do the digital data exchange between the different companies. So we are working for a very long time on data exchange and how the data are managed between different companies and different domains. And this, what we started 25 years ago, is typically called today the product lifecycle management. And for this, we develop solutions like OpenPDM to do the integration, not only cross domain, also cross company. When we look to ProStep today, ProStep is still 100% PLM. So we're really focusing on PLM processes and solutions. We are partnering with all major PLM vendors to get in contact with them and to provide connectivity to their PLM system, to their ALM systems, to their simulation data management systems. So in this context, ProStep offers PLM strategy consulting, offers concepts and solutions for a PLM architecture and do the PLM integration. And what I like to talk to you today is the PLM integration and collaboration with OpenPDM in the context of PLM cloudification. So let's start with two scenarios to define the context of the word cloud in this presentation. And I like to start with a scenario of, let's call it the green field. We'll think about a startup company, so this company just starts their work, or think about for the greenfield the introduction of a new PLM domain in your company. And of course, in this case, you have the aim to get the software running and accessible as fast as possible. Because you like to focus on product development and not to introduce the IT infrastructure to install and run the software. When we look to cloudification, then Software as a service providers give us here the offering to rent the licenses and they operate and manage the software for us and we just use the software. So we have the opportunity that there's no need to install and administrate the infrastructure. There's no need to, inst uh, to install the servers and the databases to run the PLM software. But of course, as the a company, we have to think about how to integrate these new data into our existing landscape or how to integrate, when we think about a startup, the data between different um, domains, so how to establish the digital threat. But Greenfield, of course, is not every time the reality. Most of our customers are brownfield companies, so they are long established companies. They have a lot of experience in PL, running PLM domains and running PLM systems. But they also have the aim to simplify the operation of their existing server landscape. They also like to focus on product development and not on the IT infrastructure. And for cloudification, we have here the possibility to use a platform as a service offering or infra infra infrastructure as a server offering from the cloud providers, which also give us the opportunity to reduce the invest in the infrastructure and to reduce the effort we have to spend in installing and administration of servers and databases. But when we 
run this also in the cloud, then of course we have to think about how to deal with all this information in this hybrid infrastructure and how to deal with and how to establish the digital threat. I already inst introduced you three cloud services mo models. I like to give you more details what this means. Let us start with on-premise, so the installation and the infrastructure we are running in our own environment, you are running in your own environment. And on-premise means you are responsible, you are managing everything by your own. So you have to take care about the infrastructure, the servers, the networking, the storage. You have to care about the platform itself, so which operation systems you are running, the security updates of the secure, uh, um, operation systems, and so on. And of course, last but not least, the PLM application itself, where you have to install and maintain um, the software, and you can have to take care of the data produced by this PLM software. When we now think about cloudification, the first possibility is that we delegate the infrastructure to a cloud service provider, which means that we do not have to care anymore about the servers, the storage, and the networking. This is something the cloud provider does for us. We use this service. But we have the opportunity to still install the operation systems, the runtime, and also the PLM software itself on top of this infrastructure. Next step is that we also bring the platform to the cloud provider as platform as a service. So the cloud provider brings us the opportunity to manage and operate the infrastructure and the platform, but as a customer, we still have the possibility to install the PL applications on top of these infrastructure and operation systems ourselves and manage them by ourselves. And last but not least, of course, you have the possibility to delegate everything to a cloud provider and uh, take the advantage that you do not have to care on the operation and the management of the software itself. You simply use the software and uh, use the data you produce in that of the software. But when we speak about possibilities, then we also have to speak about challenges we have to be aware of when we speak about cloudification. And one big thing is customization. I think all of you have adapted your daily processes to um, optimize your daily work and uh, you have to adapt, you have adapted the customization of your PLM system exactly to these processes. But when delegating something to a cloud provider, this cloud provider does not offer you to customize, customize everything because it's his service and he has to manage and he has to provide it. So you have to think about how to use the out-of-the-box processes of these offered software and to work efficient with this in your daily work. Another thing is when you have installed something or used something in the cloud, there's a question how to bring the data into the cloud from an on-premise installation. It is unreal that you produce and uh, develop everything new in the cloud just because it's not running anymore in your own environment. And when you create new products and you want to do it really efficient, then you have to, to use carryover parts for this. So you have to, to think about the concepts, how to bring your existing data and merge this into cloud-installed applications or cloud-managed applications. And last but not least, when you get something out of your own environment, of course, you have to talk about interfaces, how to bring the data you have produced in your on-premise installations, in your daily work at the right time with the right quality to software running in the cloud. Because here, your other users work and they like to consume them or they provide you new, new, uh, new data. So we have to talk about or think about how the interfaces look like when you're going into the cloud. Let us start with an typical PLM architecture example, and I'm pretty sure this also looks mostly also in your environment. We have different PLM domains, 
and each of these domain processes different data in your product lifecycle management, for example, the product information, the cat information, and the process information in different applications. And all these applications you're hosting on-premise in your own environment. And all these applications are integrated by an integration platform like ProStep OpenPDM to ensure that data created in one domain is synchronized at the right time to the right place in your PLM process so that the downstream processes can work with the data created in another um, domain. When you think about now doing something new and think about doing something in the cloud, doing PLM uh, cloudification, then, for example, when we introduce a new domain, for example, the application lifecycle domain, because our products should be, be more smarter, then we have the possibility to run, for example, these new domains as software as a service. When we think about the old existing domains, we have the possibility to bring the uh, already existing application in a first step as platform as a service or infrastructure service in a virtual private cloud. So do, we do not host the infrastructure anymore, but we host the application itself. So let's look for these new um, architecture to the challenges we have with them. Of course, as I already introduced, we have the challenge of integration of these new domains to the existing environment, to your on-promise uh, um, environment. We do not want to create islands. We want to integrate everything in the digital thread. So we have to think about how to integrate software as a service data or data created in a virtual uh, cloud to your uh, existing on-premise installations. Then we have to think about how to bring the data not uh, into the cloud. It's not only the installation of the software in the cloud. We have to think about, is it possible to do run it in a big bang, or do we have an uh, incremental step by step, or region by region migration? So um, how to deal with the data we are um, using? And last but not least, I already introduced when going into the cloud, you delegate something to a service provider, and this service provider does not really give you the possibility to run all the customization you have to do in the past. You have to use the um, processes and the best-in-class uh, processes of the software provided by them. And how to deal with this customization? Let's look for this in, on the next slides, and let's start with the customization. I've split this here in the new domain, so think about running as software as a service and introducing uh, or bringing an existing uh, domain into the cloud by using a virtual private cloud with a platform as a service or infrastructure as a service offering. Let's look to the software as a service um, offering. You have here the opportunity for that for this new domain, there are no really historic requirements in your company, and you can really start from the beginning. You can design your PLM process around this new domain, um, and there's no historic. So you can start to define your architecture and your processes using this new domain and take advantage of the best practices which are provided by the PLM vendor as a blueprint for your daily work. The ALM domain is often a typical domain which can be used for this integration as software as a service because the users using this domain are cloud affin. They are using software as a service in a daily way and maybe they also produce software running in a software as a service uh, matter. Let's have a look to the existing domain when we speak about bringing something into the virtual private cloud. Um, here we try to move the application from the on-premise management to the cloud management. And you have a very complex customization of your existing environment, but you have the opportunity that you still operate this application in the cloud infrastructure. It's just the infrastructure 
and uh, the platform provided by the cloud provider, the software itself, you still manage. You can reuse your existing uh, customization and processes also on this cloud installation. And of course, this is for the long-term plan planning just the first step into the cloud, but it is the first step. Let's have a look to migration. With customization, with the installation, we have placed the software itself in the cloud. But we do not have moved the existing data from on-premises to the cloud. And we have to think about how to do this. And typically, such a move to the cloud is done in combination with a release update of the PLM software. So it's not simply possible to copy a database or copy the file shares. Depending on your needs, there's also maybe uh, the need that you do not do this with a big bang. You have to think about bringing users step by step to your cloud environment, bringing users project by project or region by region to the cloud environment. And the good uh, uh, information here is that it is also possible to migrate these data into the cloud like we have done it in the past years with on-premise migrations. So we can use the extract, transform, and load concepts we have introduced with OpenPDM Migrate. So it is possible with the OpenPDM connectors to export the data out of the on-premise installation with the right quality and um, at the right time. We can process the data in, uh, in OpenPDM Migrate and then push with the OpenPDM connectors the data at the right time in the right quality into the cloud installation so that your users can start step by step um, in the cloud and work in the cloud. But of course, when you work on both sides, then you have to think about the integration. And this is the last point where we have to look how to do this when we do PLM cloudification. And again, here I have uh, split this to the new domain, the SaaS offering, and the existing doc doc uh, domain where we install the PLM application in a virtual private cloud. Let's again start with the software as a service. In the same way as the on-premise applications, of course, the software as a service um, applications provide official interfaces. They are no islands. They need to do to exchange the data, and the vendors typically know there's a need to do the data exchange. And the good thing is that the in existing integration platforms like ProStep OpenPDM already provides connectors to these SaaS offering and use these official interfaces to do the export and the import of the data. And this enables you to do the data exchange in the same way you do it today in an on-premise installation using your integration platform like OpenPDM. When we look to the uh, existing domain, I already introduced, um, you install the software on top of the infrastructure on the cloud provider, and you manage the software itself. And it's the same software as an in on-premise installation. And in result, the interfaces to the PLM application are the same, and you can use it, and there are existing connectors. A change is always in the deployment of these connectors, because in cloud environment, you typically do not just install the, uh, the uh, software, you deploy and manage the software in virtual private cloud container concepts like in Docker containers, and we provide you our connectors also in Docker containers. So have a look to the full picture of the digital threat in PLM cloudification in hybrid architecture. We have the on-premise, still the on-premise installations because we do not move everything in one step into the cloud. So for example, the PDM system still is managed by you in your on-premise installation. The users of the PLM domain, they just use the software as they use it today. But we have moved one system, one domain, the test system into the virtual private cloud. Well, this software is not running anymore on your environment. It's running on an environment of the cloud provider, for example, AWS from, from Amazon, and um, you do not have to provide any more the server and the infrastructure for this system by yourself. 
The good news is that this virtual private cloud is nearly, a, or it's, it's a part of your internet. So the access of the users to these systems is the same as they use to work in, in your infrastructure and maybe work on a different side of your company. And last but not least, have a look to the users using the new domain, the software as a service offering. Of course, the software as a service offering is running in the internet. And they access the software with secured data uh, um, access and with secured prot protocols and work directly on the system and manage their data there on the cloud provider infrastructure. But this is the user view. Now let's have a look to the integration view, how the software communicates uh, in between and how you can ensure your digital threat. And for this, I already introduced, we can use Docker concepts, container concepts, and with OpenPDM, we provide for all the clouds these Docker containers, and you can deploy the Docker containers into your virtual private cloud. The connectivity between the PDM system and um, the con connector itself is always about or always using the official APIs of the software vendors. So they are, there's no change in the functionality and no change in the quality compared to the on-premise installation. After establishing the connectivity, of course, we have to orchestrate the data flow in the digital thread. And for this, we also deploy our process engine as a Docker container in the virtual private cloud. And all together, of course, use the services provided by AWS or by Azure or uh, another cloud pr provider like Elastic Kubernetes or the file uh, systems, the file shares of the cloud provider. And um, they are running the databases inside of the environment of the cloud. So we have here a typical example for the first step of cloudification. And of course, it's the first step. It's not the last step. But we will see what will come in the future. But of course, it is possible to move all your on-premise data step by step into the virtual private cloud. So let's close with some takeaways. I showed you the opportunity of cloudification by using a software as a service offering. And we really recommend to do this for new domains, where you start something new, where you do not have existing processes. For all the existing domains, we recommend to use an infrastructure as a service or a platform as a service offering, where you delegates the management of the infrastructure to the cloud provider, but you own the software or you manage this, uh, the PLM software itself by your own. By doing this, you can use hybrid architectures. You can do it step by step. There's no need to do it in a big bang to move everything into the cloud. Uh, you can plan this with your pro uh, uh, projects and uh, you can do this step by step. But do not forget your data. And here I showed you the good message that the well-known PLM migration strategies we have introduced with the on-premise PLM system migration also works to move your data from your on-premise installation into the cloud. And last but not least, I have shown you how to integrate your data to ensure that your digital thread is still working in a hybrid architecture. You can take advantage of your existing integration platform like OpenPDM to synchronize the data between these uh, on-premise and cloud applications, and the data is always in the right quality at the right time in the correct application. So I thank you very much. And if you have questions, then please come to me, send me an email, keep in touch with me. I Really appreciate if you discuss PLM cloudification with me. Take care and goodbye.